Hey guys, it's Dan from World of Mr. Green. I'm back once again with the debunking ghost videos and the paranormal with logic. As always, if you want to go to the first clip, go to this time here. Um, this is probably going to be a short one again. I don't know. But who knows? You never know with me. Um, we are in week. I've no idea what week we're in of the lockdown anymore. It's going on very long. I have been out of work for over two months. It's the longest I've been out of work for probably about 20 years. <laughs> but we are slowly getting through it. Only slightly going a bit insane. Um, this list is comprised of a few this time. I've got one from Slapped Ham, I've got one from Nuke, I've gone from King Frostman even. And they're a bit stupid, but anyway. <laughs> The next video will be the top 10 most stupidest videos because I've been going through a lot of videos this week and they are so stupid. So stupid. It's, 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 it's baffling. <laughs> First one I want to get out of the way and I saw this a, uh, a couple of weeks back and it's basically a video of the, um, the Chancellor of the UK and he, d he did the budget. We have a, we have a yearly budget in the UK where they announce what's what price is going up on here and what price is going down. They come out, they show a nice red book. And you know, they, they always do it, it's like for photo op. They always do it over here. But the most recent one, I think it was last month. Where are we in? I think, yeah, last month. And you got Rishi comes out, he shows the book. And this is on live on Sky, no, it wasn't live, <laughs> sorry. This is on Sky News. And he walks behind the car and he comes back and it's green. The government is committed to reaching net zero by 2050. But how much will coronavirus impact what many believe would be a green budget? It's green! And people were screaming, Simulation! <laughs> we're living in a simulation. Now that is possible. We can't we can't tell either way if we're not. I'm not going against that theory. I think it's quite a cool theory. <laughs> Probably not, but who knows? Who knows? We don't know. People were screaming, the um People were screaming, simulation. So I had a look at it, and there's this context to that video, which you have to listen to, which I'm gonna play you the video right now. But how much will coronavirus impact what many believed would be a green budget? So basically, the the reporter is, is talking about the budget, and they're talking about um, something, something, how it become a green budget. You know, the, the green party or green budget, I can't remember. And then the, the folder turns green just as she says it. You know, the thing with the UK um, tabloids or news over here, they like to mess around with metaphors visually. <laughs> they, always, they always do stuff like this. And, you know, something like that is quite easy. Here's something I prepared earlier. <laughs> it's just a colouring book. Uh, not, it's not a color, kid's colouring book. It's a drawing book. I like to draw. But anyway, this is it's something I prepared earlier. And with the power of my mind. <coughs> see? It's quite simple to do. <laughs> but yeah, and that's pretty much what you see right there. You know, like I said, these news tabloids, um, they like to they like to visually show things that they're talking about. So that clip you just gotta listen to it in context. They're talking about the the budget turning into a green budget. And that's when the folder turns green. It's that's it. <laughs> right, this next one this is another glitch in the matrix. And the guy is filming a bird which has sort of been trapped in midair, doing nothing. Not moving or anything. Now when I first saw it, I thought it's like it's like a falcon hovering. You see them all the time. I see them up in the mountain by me. Yeah, you see a falcon or an eagle. And they're an eagle, sorry, Kestrel. And um, they hover in and then they dive. Well, this one is like, it's pretty much st st sitting still. And if you look at it closely, it looks like it's actually sitting on something. But obviously, it's nothing there to sit on. And if you go to the guy's YouTube, he's very defensive. <laughs> he's very defensive if you come up with some theories of what it could be. And, he, he, you know, if if you get it, some, pe uh, some people in his comments, I think, have got it absolutely spot on. But he's like, uh, adamant, adamant is bullshit. It's a load of bollocks, that's what it is. If you go to a certain point in the video right at the end, and I freeze-framed it, on one of his 
frames, there's a little dot below the fly, a uh, fly, <laughs> below, below the birds. <laughs> and basically was, uh, he's, he's probably filmed it, the birds, on probably that plaza statue, or sign, sorry, a different bird than the one that's already on it. Probably on that exact sign. And he's clipped it out and he's just moved it up and he's just tracked it down. It's a simple, it's a very simple video to do. But he forgot to clip out that last little bit. He's probably hitting a wire or something or go flying past a wire or, or part of the wall, I don't know. But he forgot to clip out that little frame. So going on that one little frame, the rest of the video is bullshit. <laughs> and again, that's pretty much it. Not a glitch in the matrix, like some people have been screaming for the last two years on his bloody channel. And this next one, TikTok video, so brace yourself. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna leave you debunk this one. <laughs> it's about two girls, they're uh, filming a TikTok video, and they go to an abandoned house, and they film it, they're filming from their car, bear that in mind, and then they see a ghost go past the door. Very spooky. Very spooky. Now I'm gonna let you debunk this one. But I'm gonna give you a quick hint. Think Demon Moose. <laughs> Just think of that. Have a look at the video and let me know what you think it is. It's quite obvious if you look at it. And then the last clip is of someone I covered a few months back called Mellow Bird. Some of you might have known him. He, he, he originally um, came up with the probably the most classic uh, poltergeist video on YouTube back in 2008-2007 of his kitchen getting absolutely trashed. When I made a video a few months back, and a few people have done it as well, um, you, can see, you can see the little masks, you can see strings. Well, he hasn't learned. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> yeah. over, over 12 years on, he's still doing the same kind of videos. They're a bit more sophisticated this time, fair play. He, I must admit, he is very good at what he does. But if you look close, you can see the masks, you can see the strings. And I've pointed out a few. First one is in his attic, where I'm not gonna show you the full clip. But the first one is of the attic. And there's things flying around all over the place. I've highlighted one area, is if you look where the ball, the first ball that comes out is about to land, and I've highlighted it with a big red square. You can see just before it lands, the surface of the cloth flicks flicks up. That's basically just before the ball lands, he ha he puts the mask in, and it's, it doesn't quite line up with what was originally there in the footage. And you can see it flicking. I've repeated it. So that's one. Uh, the next one in his bathroom, and his toilet roll falls over, and then the toilet mat slides towards the toilet. Now, unless this toilet mat can change space and time and, you know, bend light like a black hole, I'd say he's put a mask there. Because <laughs> you, you can see the bottom of the toilet as the mask gets closer, it starts wobbling. He's masked around the um, mat and he's basically tracked it to the left, but I think he hasn't feathered uh, feathered the edges correctly. And that's where you get that little wobble when it gets closer to the other object because the mat is not actually, uh, how can I say it? The mat is there, but it's in a different time of the footage. If you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I wish I could explain that. It's masked anyway. It's masked, just, just take my word on it. The final part is in his sheds. And there's very there's so many things going on in you. Once again, I've pointed out an area where there's a mask. When something gets thrown, I don't know where the hell it gets thrown from. From somewhere from the right, part of the wall it flicks. It's sort of like it's like that, and it flicks, and then it goes back. And basically, again, there's a mask being put in and then quickly being taken out. So, wherever he is standing or pulling a string from or hiding a string, 
his mask and another part of the um, the shed when two things get pulled down from the ceiling I've slowed it down you can see the strings which are pulling them and I've highlighted them again <coughs> utter bollocks is what it is <laughs> I must admit, it is very good. I've seen a f quite a few videos of this mellow bird, and he is good at what he does. He's better than most of these other YouTubers who try to um, uh, show tomfoolery in their videos. But if you look close, you can see those strings, you can see the masks, you can see the edits. You know, it's uh, it's clear when you look close. And that's that's pretty much it. Was it a short video? Who knows? I don't know yet until I edit down all my rambling bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That was hopefully a short one. And I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm full of shit. Or if you think these videos are full of shit. And let me know what that TikTok video is all about. See if we can figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, I will be having another video, hopefully in the next few days, of the top 10 stupidest videos. <laughs> top 10, or what do I call it? Top 10 ghost videos which are too stupid to be real part two and uh sometime after that then i will do be doing another read in your comments uh, like i like i enjoy uh, reading your comments I, I enjoy answering you if you have any questions feel free to ask and if i don't read your comment out don't be offended <laughs> hope you enjoyed leave a like if you enjoyed the video and if you're new to this channel just try to do these every week uh, leave a sub if you are new. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. I never know how to end the video.